students, myself Dr. Divya, Esteem Professor, Department of Chemistry, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering. So in this session, we will discuss the numerical problems on the total hardness in terms of calcium carbonate equivalence using EDTA method. So uh, before going to the numerical problems, we will have a glance on what is this EDTA method to be used for determining the hardness of water sample. So we generally do a titration method. This is titrometry also called titrometry. So wherein we are using a chemical called EDTA. So this is ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid which is used as a ligand for complexing the metal ions. So this is EDTA. EDTA. So this is a complexometric method because we are complexing the metal ions with this EDTA ligand. So it is therefore called complexometric method. It is in the form of sodium salt, sodium, so disodium, disodium EDTA, disodium EDTA. So it is in the form of disodium EDTA salt which yields the anion and this forms complex with the calcium and magnesium ions. So we have seen in our previous sessions that most of the hardness causing salts are just because of calcium and magnesium cations. So these cations are now complexed with EDTA to form calcium EDTA or magnesium EDTA and either of and both of them if at all it is present in that particular water sample so to determine the equivalence point we need some indicators because there is colorless liquid we take in the conical flask so this is the and we add edda to this and the, it is colorless colorless but if we use indicators like erichrome black tea it gives color it gives color. So what is this color? It is blue dye. It is a blue dye that is um, due to because of erichrome black tea. So whenever it is forming a complex with the metal ions, the EDTA, we generate, we titrate with the EDTA. So once we take water sample here, we take water plus EBT indicator. First we take EBT indicator here. So that will give rise to wine, wine red color just because of the erichrome black tea indicator. So even it is a blue dye when it is added to the water sample because of calcium and magnesium ions present it will form a wine red color complex. So this is just uh, effective this uh, complex is effective at a pH of 10. So that is why we are using ammonium hydroxide ammonium chloride buffer to maintain this pH. So once we are titrating with EDTA, what happens? It replaces the EBT ions and forms calcium EDTA or magnesium EDTA. The same thing is shown in this schematic. The metal ion combines with EBT indicator and forms a metal EBT indicator complex. So upon titration, this is titration. Upon titration with EDTA, it forms metal EDTA strong complex and the indicator will be free for more complexation with other ions. So this EDTA is blue color. This metal EDTA complex is blue color. Therefore, the first point, the start point is wine red and the end point is blue, steel blue color. So this is how we use the titrometry to determine the end point. So the volume, the volume is nothing but the end point for that particular uh, ind indicator that is changing from uh, wine red to blue color. So during this course of titration what happens? The EDTA, EDTA combines with the metal ions and form the stable complex like the metal EDTA complex releasing the EBT indicator. So this is the EDTA that we are using and thus the reaction continues where the free EBT again this is indicator this is free again so this free EBT indicator will again combine with the other amount of calcium magnesium atoms that are present and uh, ions that are present in water and continues the reaction and the final uh, so therefore this free EBT combines with the metal ions that are still present in solution and retains its wine red color so that is how it will continue the reaction 
So this is the reaction, simple reaction that is given and this is the method that we use for titrometry method that we use for determining the hardness of any particular sample. So now we will see how we can use this titrometry in solving uh, the hardness. So we will be uh, theoretically, uh, we'll have calculations to do uh, after the titration that we will see now. So for example, 0.5 grams of calcium carbonate was dissolved in HCl and solution was made up to 500 ml with distilled water. So now for example, we don't have hard water. So for a theoretical hardness, we should prepare hard water. So standard, standard hard water has to be prepared that we know that hardness, but still we are determining after titration. Standard hard water water. So it is nothing but SHW. So this is nothing but like 0.5 grams of calcium carbonate is added to HCl for dissolving and then made up to 400 ml distilled water. So this is nothing but standard hard water that is prepared and 50 ml of solution require 48 ml of EDTA solution for titration. So 50 ml of solution if it is taken, 50 ml of water or SHW is taken. So we require 48 ml, 48 ml EDTA to complete the reaction. So that is what it means. So 50 ml of hard water sample require 15 ml of EDTA and after boiling and filtering require 10 ml of EDTA calculate the hardness. So we have to calculate the total hardness that is present in the sample using these uh, uh, reactions. So for example, 500 ml of, so how much we did we prepare here? 500 ml of standard hard water we have prepared that is equal to what is here uh, given here 0.5 grams of calcium carbonate is used. 0.5 grams is also written as 500 mg of calcium carbonate. So 1 uh, ml, ml, how much will it present? If 500 ml contains 500 mg, 1 ml will contain 1 mg of calcium carbonate. So now 48 ml of EDTA solution is equal to 50 by 50 by 48 mg of calcium carbonate. So this much is required. So 1 ml of EDTA is equal to again 50 by 48 mg calcium carbonate. So calculation for the total hardness. Now we will calculate the total hardness here. 50 ml of hard water is equal to 15 ml is equal to like 15 into 50 by 48. So 50 ml requires how much? 50 ml requires 48 ml. So now 50 ml requires how much? 50 ml requires 48 ml. So 15 ml requires how much? So 15, uh, 50 into 15 by 48 gives the calcium carbonate equivalent. So 1000 ml now for the Giving in ppm or in mg per liter, we have to convert into liter. So for converting into liter, now we will take 1000 ml, which is nothing but liter. 1000 ml of water sample, hard sample is equal to, this uh, is equivalent to 15.625 into 1000 by, how much is the volume? Then we have taken 50 ml. So by 50 ml is equal to 312.5 milligram calcium carbonate equal, which is equivalent to which is equivalent to 312.5 milligram per liter or 312.5 ppm. This is the total hardness that is present in that particular water sample. Next, 50 ml of water sample consumed 15 ml of 0.01 normal EDTA. It is given in normality before boiling and 5 ml of same EDTA after boiling. So before boiling, it consumed 15 ml, but after boiling, like it consumed only 5 ml of EDTA. Why? Because after boiling, the temporary hardness will be removed. So calculate the degree of hardness or the total hardness from this. So 50 ml of water sample is 15 ml. It consumed 15 ml of 0.01 normal EDTA. So now for um, 15 into 100 by 500 ml, how much is it required? So we are now calculating for 100 ml. So 15 into 100 by 50, we will get 
300 ml of 0.01 normal EGTA. So whenever we are expressing in milligram per liter, we have to convert into molarity. So for converting into molarity, molarity of EGTA is equal to 2 times of normality is nothing but molarity. Therefore, we multiply this 300 into 2 that will give the normality. So that is 600 or 0 0.6 liters of 0 0.01 equivalence of calcium carbonate and it is also equal to 0 .0, 0 0.6 into 0 0.01 into 50 calcium equivalence, so 50 grams. So the total hardness is equal to 0 0.3 or 300 after calculation, after calculation we get 300 mg per mg of calcium carbonate equivalence. So we can either express in calcium carbonate equivalence or give it in milligram per liter or ppm. As we have already converted two liters, it is easier like milligram per liter or ppm. Gives the similar expression for the hardness of water. Next, uh, next one is 100 ml of water sample requires 20 ml of EDTA solution via titration. So 100 ml water requires 20 ml EDTA. 1 ml of EDTA solution is equivalent to 1.1 milligram of calcium carbonate. So they have given that 1 ml of EDTA is equivalent to 1.1 mg of calcium carbonate. Now calculate the hardness in ppm. So what they have given 1 ml is equal to 1.1 mg of calcium carbonate. So 20 ml will be 20 into 1.1. So that is equal to 22 mg of calcium carbonate. So for 100 ml how much is it? So for 1 ml it is for 1 ml it is 1.1 mg of calcium carbonates. For 20 ml 22 mg. So for 100 ml how much is it? Like 20 ml of EDTA for 100 ml it is consuming 20 ml of EDTA. So it is equal to, like, equivalent to in calcium carbonate units, it is 22 milligram of calcium carbonate. So for 1000 ml, it is 22 into 1000 by 100. For 1000, um, uh, 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 like 100 ml, for 100 ml, it is 22 milligram calcium carbonate. So for 1000 ml, how much is it? So 1000 cross multiply 1000 into 22 by 100. So that is how we have to calculate and we get 220, 220 milligram calcium carbonate. So the units also get cancelled here 220 milligram calcium carbonate which is also equivalent to 220 milligram per liter as we have already calculated for 1000 ml. So the total hardness is Total hardness here is here is 220 milligram per liter or ppm. So this is how we calculate the amount of total hardness that is present uh, during the titration with EDTA. Next, 100 ml of uh, water sample requires 25 ml of 0.01 normal uh, molar molarity. It is given in molarity. EDTA for titration using aerochrome black tea indicator. So if see this EBT indicator is used and calculate the total hardness in ppm. Here the question is like uh, they have given indicator, they have said that EDTA is used and given the um, concentration is molarity but whatever it is like 100 ml consumed how much is it? 25 ml. It, it means this is the titer value. This is the 25 ml is the tighter value, 25 ml of 0.01 molar EDTA. EDT. So we know that 1 ml of 0.01 molar EDTA is equal to 1 mg of calcium carbonate. So 25 ml of EDTA solution is equal to 25 mg of calcium carbonate. So it is equivalent. So 100 ml of water sample requires 25 ml of we see here it is given in the question 100 ml is equal to 25 ml of 0 0.01 molar EDTA. So it is equal to as 1 ml is equal to 1 mg, it is like 25 ml is equal to 25 mg of calcium carbonate equivalent. So now we have to convert to liter for that 
1000 ml of water sample is equal to 22 into so uh, 22 into 1000 by 100 so we get to 25 here it is for 25 this 25 is taken here 250 250 mg of calcium carbonate which is of which is again equal to 250 mg per liter or ppm 250 mg per liter or 250 ppm this is the total hardness that is present total hardness present in that particular sample so the 25 ml consumption is nothing but the tighter value of that particular solution edta solution so next one is in an estimation of hardness of water by EDTA titration, 25 ml of uh, 250 ml of water sample is taken that required 15 ml of EDTA. So 250 ml is taken. So this is in conical flask that requires 15 ml EDTA that is taken in the burette. So that is the title value. 15 ml is consumed to get the end point that is color con uh, uh, conversion of color wine red to blue color so calculate the hard water hardness of the water in ppm so now we know that 1 ml of 1 molar edta is equal to 100 mg of calcium carbonate equivalent so this is standard value so 1 molar edta is equal to 100 mg of calcium carbonate it will consume so 1 ml of 0 0.01 molar EDTA is equal to 1 mg calcium carbonate. So, 0 0.01 per 1 molar it is 100 mg. For 0 0.01 molar it is 1 mg. Then for 0 0.02 molar how much is it? 0 0.02 molar it is 2.5 mg of calcium carbonate. So, for 0 0.01 molar it is 1 mg. So, for 0 0.025 molar, how much? So, 0 0.025 into 1 by 0 0.01, we get 2.5, 2.5 mm, calcium carbonate equivalent. So, total hardness, if we calculate, total hardness is given here. 250 ml, so what is the total volume? 250 ml is taken, 250 ml of water requires 15 ml of 0 0.02 that is nothing but for this if we take 15 into 2.5 mg of calcium carbonate so to convert that so 37.5 mg of calcium carbonate equivalent which is again nothing but again for 1000 ml we have to convert per, per liter so uh, of uh, water sample for 1000 ml is nothing but 1 a liter is equal to 37.5 into 1000 by 20 to 50 so that will give rise to 150 mg 150 mg of calcium carbonate which is again 150 mg per liter or 150 ppm so this is the total hardness present in that particular water sample uh, after titration after titrometry with the edta thank you like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates